and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be taste testing some new in snacks from Tesco. I recently did a new in video and it didn't really go too well. And in that video, I said, I'm not doing new in for a long time, but here I am. I know that you guys love to see the new in snacks. So I just felt like I had to. There was a few new things that popped up that I saw were from Tesco. So I thought, let's go see if there's enough for a video. And there definitely was. I'm excited to try these things. So let's get on with the video. But before we do, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to my channel if you want to. Why do I keep forgetting it? And subscribe to my channel. I really, I can't remember the start to my video. <sighs> I did this in another video and it's not even just flowing out, but basically subscribe. I don't know what is happening. I need to go back and watch one and write it down. I've got my receipt as well. So let's hope I actually remember to get all the prices. Also, I did notice how much this video cost me. I feel like I might be a bit shocked because obviously when I do these videos, I don't look at the price of anything. I just pick it up. But the first thing I'm gonna try, I've just looked at how much it was and I'm like, what? These are Tesco finest and we have here loaded caramel flapjacks. Here's what they look like. These cost me £3.20. Like, when has a pack of flapjacks cost that much? That is more expensive than what you would pay out of m &S, surely. Anyway, so, this says these are indulgent flapjack slices topped with a layer of caramel nuts, seeds, and dried fruits. And to add insult to injury, they're absolutely tiny. They smell very rich, but the flapjack itself looks very dry. They taste very good. It is very rich. The caramel layer on top makes the flapjack a bit more moist. I don't know, it doesn't really resemble a normal flapjack for me, but the flavors are actually amazing. It's kind of like a sticky toffee pudding flavor. I really like them. Are they worth £3.20 for four? No. Would I buy them if they was on club card offer for £1.50? Yes, not £2, because I wouldn't pay 50p each. Is that stingy? I don't know, but my brain hasn't caught up with current day prices. Like, I need Need to accept that the prices have gone up i just can't but i'm gonna base my recommendations today just on the flavor and for the flavor these are really good i would buy these again next thing we have to try are these gym kitchen cookies and cream cheesecakes they had these in a strawberry flavor and they also had salted caramel but i have tried to stay away from the salted caramel because i just feel like i always feel let down i really wanted to pick up the salted caramel but i was like no, let's not. Let's do something a bit different. So for those of you who haven't heard of the gym kitchen before, it's all about like the macros. This has 11 grams of protein per pot. And these were £3.25 for two. They were on club card points. So I saved 50p. And here's what it looks like. Let me try another little bit. The flavors are actually quite nice. It does taste like the protein puddings. The biscuit base is soft. It gets stuck in your teeth. It's not that crispy biscuity base but if you are interested in something that's lower calories higher protein then i would recommend these for your average person probably not just because the biscuit base isn't giving if it was more of a crispy base i would 100 percent recommend that but it doesn't therefore for me personally wouldn't recommend these next thing we have are these new foxes biscuits these were two pounds but they had 75p off on club card points, which I think is really good. These are the hazelnut flavor. The other flavor was honeycomb. I don't really like honeycomb when it's flavored stuff. I love like crunchy, but when things are flavored honeycomb, not so much. So I thought I'd go for the hazelnut and it says chocolate coated shortcake biscuit with a melt in the mouth, creamy center. So they're pretty small. I would say they are the size of maybe an Oreo. Mm, the hazelnut really took a minute i thought great this is tasteless but it's not it really comes through at the end i wouldn't say the center is creamy they're as if creamy had been in the fridge but they haven't been in the fridge i don't know how well it's focusing the texture isn't creamy at all but the flavors are really good is it my favorite this is how i've got to think of it because would i buy these over any other foxes ones especially the ones with all the chocolate i mean if you're a hazelnut lover i think the hazelnut is done really well in this but for me personally wouldn't buy these ones again i really don't have much savory today i've just realized next up we have a new flavor of mccoy's these only come in the multi bag 
multi-pack bag and these were £2.25 but I got 50p off on club card points and these are chip shop curry sauce I'm interested to know what these are gonna taste like oh whoa they look like they're full of flavor but I mean it is McCoy so what do I expect that taste exactly like curry sauce i never get it from the chip shop but it's the same as getting it from the chinese but then they can't really call it chinese curry sauce because it's not actually chinese you know when people are like that's not authentic chinese curry sauce i know it's not but that's what we do in england okay but this is what it tastes like that flavor is spot on do i like it in a crisp though that's the thing they are really good they've got the perfect amount of spice they're full of flavor and they taste exactly as they should. I would definitely get these again. Next thing we have, I felt like I had to try one of these because we all know they bring out a million different flavors. And here we have strawberries and clotted cream hot cross bun. I'm gonna heat this up, pop a little bit of butter on. I don't think anything else would go with it. When I say heat it up, I mean toast it. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I've heated it up and I've attempted to put a bit of butter on it. <laughs> It literally wouldn't melt in. I didn't want to like rip it apart. Also, this is your reminder. If you don't like hot cross buns, please don't be put off that you don't like the normal ones because all the ones that they now bring out, like chocolate ones, cheese ones, they don't taste like normal hot cross buns. They don't have cinnamon. I reckon a lot of people have that misconception that just because it's hot cross bun, it will taste like half a hot cross bun and chocolate, but it doesn't. They're amazing. I love hot cross buns anyway. But yeah, so these were £1.60 for four. Hmm. It reminds me of, I don't know what it is, but you know when you get strawberry cereal? I mean, if you have a little girl who loves pink, then she'd probably love this. But it does have that artificial taste. It's definitely more of a strawberry flavour that a child would like, I would personally say. I don't think the taste of the strawberry is that great. Unfortunately, that's going to be a no from me. Next thing I'm going to try, I've actually got these in two different flavours. Tesco have brought out this range. And these were £1.70 for a loaded chocolate bar, which I think as long as they taste good is a really good price and after i saw these i thought if they have these in stock i'm gonna do the video and they did i did find it really hard to choose the flavors you would probably think that i would have chose the pretzel and sea salt but as i was saying earlier about the salted caramel I just feel like i've tried it so much so i thought i'd do things a little bit differently but have i really because we've gone for crispies we all know i love crispy stuff with caramel and almond so let's try this one first of all so they also had pecan and honeycomb and then the other one was whole hazelnut we'll go for the crispy one first of all they are fully loaded it is exactly as it says sweet and salty the saltiness in that is really good it's really subtle it's like caramel yeah i'm not getting caramel sorry i need to chuck that down because it's melting in my fingers that's my favorite chocolate i've tried in a long time it's so fully loaded it's so good for the price i highly recommend this would definitely be buying this again i feel like this could become an obsession let me just double check the price as well did i say one pound 70 i feel like i did they're one pound 80 just to confirm next one i went for is biscuit and raisin so this is giving oh no it's not i was gonna say it's giving fruit and nut but it's not it's more like a gary baldy is that real or have i made that up like is that what it was just called in my household or is that actually the name of the biscuit because i've never seen that in my adult life anyway i don't know if this will be everyone's cup of tea but there was quite a few of them gone off the shelf and i personally love raisins okay it's not got as much as the other one but it is still really fully loaded as you can see it's like proper full-on raisins if you like chocolate raisins what a great idea because you know me i love the crisp and chocolate raisins are one of my favorite chocolates ever really melting <laughs> sorry i just literally had to google to see if gary baldy biscuits are a real thing and they are these in case you can't remember i personally really like that one it's not as good as the other one but i would still recommend it i'm still gonna really enjoy it but out of the two this one is definitely the better one and now i'm thinking I can imagine their pretzel and caramel one or whatever it is, is probably also amazing. So I need to try that soon. I can't imagine my boyfriend eating this. So this one will probably last a couple weeks. This one will probably get eaten tomorrow. The next thing we have are these milk and cereal inspired cupcakes. 
so they've got a bit of filling in these and these cost £2.15 for the two which again I don't know about the price of these because I could make these myself they've got little letters on them but imagine if it spelt something rude do you know what one of my favourite things is in life one of the simple things when you go into a store and people rearrange stuff to spell something rude I just think it's so childish but so funny cheers oh ew that has no flavouring at all. Does it have something in the middle? Ugh! Are these in date? That there. Can you hear this? Why is it rock solid? Solid as a rock. Do I even want to bite into it? Like, I want to bite into it now for the shock factor. They're awful. White chocolate flavoured sauce centre. Well, that's not sauce. And my flat ain't that cold. They're in date. They've still got two days left. That is a big fat no from me. It tastes like sugar with no flavouring. They haven't tried to make it taste like anything else. Yeah, definitely, definitely do not recommend. We've only got three things left and we've only got one savoury. So let's do the savoury. Already tried these, but they really didn't have anything else. I honestly looked at both of them and I thought, I want to try both of these flavours. So these are the same price for the two twenty five. The other flavour is Banging Barbecue. I don't know what makes it banging. Do you reckon it's spicy? I'm going to guess spicy. Don't smell spicy. It's spicy. It's kind of bland. The banging is definitely in relation to spice. You know, like when you eat spicy stuff, you have that like spicy flavour. This has basically no flavour, but burning my mouth a bit. I'm so confused. I'm really not blown away, which is weird. Because McCoy's stuff always has loads of flavour. As I said when I had the chip shop curry sauce ones. I am confused. Who wants something that's spicy with no flavour? Not me. So I personally wouldn't buy these again. That is why I'm glad I bought both of the flavours. I never multi-buy stuff. I always buy one product of one flavour. And then I say that's shit. And then I never try the other flavour. Because I assume the other flavour is shit. That is a perfect example. Because the chip shop curry ship. Chip shop curry sauce flavour was spot on. These... Not so much. Next thing, we have goo pots. Now, I felt like I had to try these today because I've run out of the little dishes. My boyfriend tried to melt butter the other day and he put it in the microwave for a minute. And it was literally black and burning and I was like, are you actually okay? So yeah, we just free that. So I thought, right, hopefully they've got a new goo pot in so you can get some more. So these are 3.75 for two. They had double chocolate or salted caramel. As I said, I thought I'd steer away from that. What I thought was interesting is it says you can eat these hot or cold. So I'm going to try a bit cold and then I'm going to warm it up. Here's what they look like. Well, the layer of sauce is actually really thick. Mm. that is good it's full of flavor but it's not a sickly chocolate you know sometimes if it's too rich i've got to heat this for 30 seconds so i'll be back again in a minute it's gone very saucy so i don't want to lean, <laughs> lean it forward and it all spills out everywhere i've left it for a couple of minutes because i really don't fancy burning my mouth i don't know if you can see but it just looks like chocolate fudge cake look it's all dripping off oh they are so good i don't know which way i prefer it i guess it depends what mood you're in this would be really good with ice cream i actually really like it cold i think because it's not giving brownie it's giving chocolate cake you know the ones that you put in the microwave and then you flip it upside down it's like one of them but i can't complain either way is still really good my describing words never failed to amaze me but i would definitely recommend these now i kind of wish i got the salted caramel but we move we're now onto the final item and here we have the new lint bunny now i tried the salty caramel one of this in the new in video and it was so good it had chunky crispy bits of salted caramel but this one is strawberry white chocolate i love strawberry chocolate these are three pound fifty but currently on offer for three pound with the club card and i do love the strawberry lint balls so i feel like this is going to be good that looks like it's going to be full of flavor anyway i'm just going to bite his ear off Oh wow, that tastes unreal. That was what I was hoping from the hot cross bun. But that tastes like actual strawberry ice cream. Hopefully, can you see that? These are so good. I don't know what other flavours they had. I 
feel like the other ones are just normal or maybe there's a white chocolate one who knows i can tell you from one bite and i am feeling pretty full now <laughs> that that is so good do not try it if you're not a strawberry chocolate lover obviously all right guys well that wraps up another video my favorites for today this in third place this in second and then of course this had to be first off oh, i did also really like this but i'm only going to choose one of these so i'm going to say this is definitely my favorite and just like that another video is over please let me know what shops you want to see me try i haven't seen too too much new stuff out a lot of it is easter stuff that's starting to come out but if there is a specific shop you want me to try leave it in the comments below maybe i'll do like whatever one has the most likes i'll do next but before you go please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you if you're new here as always thank you guys so much for watching i will see you in my next one